what's going on guys welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me back into a new video I want to start by saying thank you to all the new subscribers the channel is growing and I'm really happy to see this we are really really close to a thousand subscribers now and uh, I want to remind you all before we get this uh, video started that once we hit a thousand subscribers I will be doing a giveaway on the channel so if you like what you see consider subscribing Okay guys, so on this video, I want to do a um, a recap video of my first tournament of the season. I, uh, how long is it now? A week ago? A week and a half ago now? We had the first tournament of the season with the Ontario Kayak Bass Trail in Sudbury in Ramsey Lake. If you're watching this video, some of you might already know the results and obviously I did not have a good tournament. Uh, this is why I'm going to do in a voiceover. I have some clips of me fishing right now. Okay, so in this tournament, uh, we started off as always at uh, 6 a.m. We are allowed to launch our kayaks at 5, but no lines in the water until 6. And then the tournament goes on till 3. Now, why was this a rough day for me? And I'm gonna explain to you guys my my thought process of what happened and where I went wrong. A week before this event, I was fishing in Lake Nipissing. Lake Nipissing also has early bass season. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. So the week before in Nipissing, I noticed that I was catching smallies on moving baits. I was casting and they were shallow but I was casting right against the rocks and as soon as I would reel down and, and, and just start reeling they would hit right away so they were being super aggressive so this kind of clouded my, my way of thinking I said to myself man if the bite is like this when I get to Ramsey it's, it's gonna be an amazing day so keep that in mind my, my judgment is already clouded by how my fishing day went on Nipissing and I know what some of you are going to say you're comparing Lake Nipissing to Lake Ramsey so when I got on Ramsey what's the first thing I did start throwing moving baits and start casting shallow I was looking for rock banks now the other I want to say challenge about Ramsey is that on Google Maps it probably looks a little bigger than what it actually is we had, if I'm not mistaken, 92 anglers in this tournament. The lake did feel a little crowded. Every point had an angler, every bay had an angler. In certain sections, you were sharing it with at least one other angler, sometimes two or three. So this being said, I was I was like I was saying, I was casting shallow, reeling in pretty fast trying to get a reaction bite from uh, any smallies or largies that were sitting shallow right five hours into the tournament I got nothing to show it is 11 o'clock it is 12 o'clock and I'm just sitting there and I'm asking myself what am I doing wrong what am I gonna do I was completely out of ideas I couldn't tell you the amount of times I retied lures I tried something different but my pattern didn't really change. I tried deep a little bit, but when I mean deep, I tried like points that were coming down to like 15 feet. Cause in the back of my head, I knew they were gonna be shallow. It wasn't until I got into a bay that was really protected by the wind. And I was able to see into the water when it clicked. I noticed a small mouth on a bed. And at that moment, I got angry at myself. I also felt a little bit of relief that I noticed this, but at the same time it was frustrating because I wish I would have noticed this earlier. I drove up there on a Friday. I got there Friday afternoon, woke up in the morning and started my day fishing. If I probably would have had one day on the water and not necessarily just pre fishing but just paddling around, looking around, I probably would have noticed the beds so because I didn't notice this earlier I didn't adjust I didn't adjust my pattern I didn't adjust the way I was fishing the speed of, of me reeling in a, a fish sorry really in a lure 
So as I was saying, when I saw that Smalley on the bed, obviously I cast it to it and dead sticked my Ned rig and I caught him. It was the only fish I caught all day. And when this happened, it was already like 2.30. It was half an hour left to go to the tournament. But at the same time, in the back of my head, I was like, man, can I find another bed right now and, and catch another one or two more? You know, can I catch one or two more bass? And unfortunately, it didn't happen. And although, although I want to say that this event, this experience was a little frustrating for me and disappointing, it was also a big learning experience. Like, I have zero experience on fishing the spawn zero right here in Canada obviously southern Ontario for that matter you cannot fish for bass until the fourth weekend of June although I scored low and I had a uh, rough day this was an eye-opening experience it was a good learning experience and it's these and it's these learning experience that I will always you know I try at least I try my best to keep in the back of my mind and use and use this knowledge for future events or future outings so I think this pretty much covers everything I had to say about this event right now I'm gonna roll the clip of uh, me catching that one smally at the end of the day I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in we'll catch you guys in the next one Oh my god, first fish of the day at 2.30. I thought I was gonna get skunked this tournament. Feels so good to catch one. Water. First and only fish of the day. If I catch another one, it'll be a miracle. Go to your house, doing some pretty babies. There's 20 minutes left to the tournament. I'm just gonna fish this shoreline until three o'clock and then head back to the launch. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for tuning into the video. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one.